In the past, we've talked about different types of drones, but today, let's talk about flying them, how each drone handles, and what factors contribute to their flight characteristics. And before we go, we're going to be joined by U.S. Airman Sergeant Justin, who will tell us a little bit about the different types of aircraft he works on working with the USAF. First, let's discuss small drones, such as micro or mini drones. Both micro and mini drones are often built with ducks to increase their safety and thrust ability, but at a cost to handling. However, because of how lightweight they are, these drones have a smaller turn radius and can quite literally turn on a dime. Because they weigh so little, smaller drones are often susceptible to wind and other weather conditions, especially this micro drone. Now, mini drones are often a step above their micro brethren. Frames like these are usually the smallest that allow for mounting an HD camera. However, mounting an HD camera outside of your avionics package, of course, will add weight. And this payload will affect your ability to accelerate and decelerate. Pay extra special attention to some of the heavier components, such as your HD camera and your battery. You're going to want to make sure that your drone has a balanced center of gravity for the best flight performance. Medium-sized drones often sit in the range of 5 to 7 inch frames. These drones usually have the best balance of thrust to weight ratio, superior handling, and a solid turn radius. Medium-sized drones have a huge number of motor and prop combinations that can be employed to fly as aggressively or as smoothly as you the pilot desire. Because of this, medium frames, but especially 5 inch frames, are the best option when looking into getting into racing or freestyle flying. Now the larger frame sizes are usually exclusively reserved for professional cinematic pilots, being that developing the contingency plans required for flight takes years of experience. These frames, often referred to as heavy lift, are built to do exactly that, lift heavy payloads such as cinema cameras. Because of the excessive payload, heavy lift drones usually rely on much larger motors and propellers, and sometimes utilize more than four motors. Today on FPV 101, we have the pleasure of speaking with Sergeant Justin of the U.S. Air Force. Sergeant Justin, thank you so much for being here today. Awesome. Thank you for having me. It's wonderful to be here. Right now. Pleasure having you. So on FPV 101, we've been talking about all the different types of drones that you may encounter as a civilian. Sergeant Justin, can you tell us about the different kinds of aircraft that you encounter in your day-to-day -day working with the U.S. Air Force? Sure thing. So I've been in the Air Force for nine years. I was able to work on two different aircrafts, both in the drone industry. So the first aircraft that I was working on was the MQ-1B Predator. It was a very tiny drone compared to the MQ-9. That plane got phased out and then all of the MQ-1 guys got pushed to the MQ-9 Reaper. This thing, it's barely coming out of the woodworks with the drone enterprise. So the uh, first flight of the MQ-9 uh, was back in February of 2001. It's been flying solid for 20 years now and doesn't look like it's stopping. Like this is the way that the uh, MQ enterprise is coming. Sergeant Justin, I want to thank you again for being here today and for answering all these questions that we had. Yeah, no worries. This was really fun. I appreciate the opportunity. Tune in for the next episode of U.S. Air Force FPV 101.